Next, we have got to find a deserted freeway. Open her up and let her do what she does best. Do you really like it? Oh, sweetheart, this is an absolute dream machine. Oh, with a telephone yet? I feel like the ultimate executive. Hey, what's a luxury car without a telephone, right? I do hope I'll get to drive it sometime, though. If you're good. I'm happy you're happy. Oh, sweetheart, nobody's ever given me anything like this before. Well, it wasn't sheer generosity. I, I do have ulterior motives. What do you mean? I mean that I want something in return. Well, what? I want this marriage to work. Oh, darling, you don't have to worry about that. It's going to work like a charm, just like this car. I just know I haven't been appreciating you much lately. I've been too caught up in my own problems. Eden, I love you just the way that you are. The only thing right now that can make my day perfect is to hear you say the same thing about me, that you love me. I've waited a long time to hear that. Well, I do love you very much. I... I can't even tell you. <laughs> well, then I'm happy. What's this? Get a brand new car just 20 minutes ago with a telephone. It's already ringing. That's probably the telephone company checking, you know, to make sure everything's okay. Well, their timing couldn't have been worse. Hello? Hello, Kirk. I called your office and your secretary gave me the number of your new car phone. She said you couldn't wait to get a call. This is Gina, in case you're wondering. Yes, I knew right away. Uh, what is it you need, Marcia? Well, uh, since you have an audience, I'll do the talking. I told you I wanted to see you right away. I asked you to get over here. Now, why aren't you here? Well, I'm tied up right now. I'll try to get there and handle it in a little while. Don't just try, Kirk. Get here, and soon. And bring that car. I'd love to see it. Well, thanks for letting me know. You have some problems? No, it was, uh, it's just Marcia back at the office. Something to take care of. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, well, thanks for the ride. Well, thanks for giving me what we rode in. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You're turning into a certified peeping Tom, you know that? Look, I was hoping to catch Kirk with Gina, all right? Mm -hmm. Then you'll get Kirk and Eden instead. If you ask me, is what I call poetic injustice. Nobody asked you. Sooner or later, that guy is going to lead me to where I want to go. No, man, that is sure some car he's driving. I wonder where he got the bread for that. You think Eden bought it for him? She'd really have to hate him to buy him something like that, wouldn't she? <laughs> 